All right, here we have the Red Wing 8103 in Portage Oral Russet Leather. The classic Oxfords. These puppies were brand new. Inspected by Rumalando. Wanted to show you them out of the box before we go ahead and get them laced. Just beautiful right out of the box, that portage leather. Ever since my round toes, I fell in love with this color and leather, the break-ins. And I wanna go inside here and show you that is my foot. Again, they were brand new. I like to try them on a little bit. Look at that size of seven and a half. This is gonna be the big, big thing about this video. Also notice I changed out those laces to leather. Noticed the leather wrapped on the inside. That is another, another change. And look at that hand stitch. You can just tell the hand touch of these Red Wings. They use over 100 year old machines and hand stitched. Just that touch is gorgeous. So I don't own a lot of Red Wings with this leather lined inside as well. Usually it's the rough out which also feels good, but this, I gotta tell you, slipping around in there is, you know, feeling super, super good. You can tell there's another layer of lining in there. You can definitely tell. And as we back out here, look at that Puritan stitching on the side, that storm welt, that double welt on the bottom against those beautiful white soles on that traction tread as we look at those. Those wedge soles, traction tread from Red Wing straight out of the box. Never seen the ground. Doesn't even know what their ground is yet. These are some of the best, most comfortable ones, I believe, in my opinion. I wanted to show you, again, right out of the box, they're unlaced in this shot. Just a gorgeous pair of shoes, Oxfords. I wanted a, also an option that wasn't, you know, a six inch or a eight inch boot. I wanted an option that I could go ahead and wear around an office or whatever kind of setting out and about. So look at the back. Look at that little piece of leather that wraps around the ankle. Just a beautiful touch. You can just tell the handcrafted quality. Those Taslin laces are straight out of the box, brand new as well. I like that against the Portage, that's okay. But I'm a fan of swapping them out for something a little bit. Not so not so bright, that's okay. Just wanted to show you this nice close up of this leather. You can see the texture, the detail. Those four nickel eyelets. The mock toe. Now this mock toe is on a 23 last, number 23. Number 23 last, not a 45 like your 1907s. 1907s are in a number 45 last. This one is in a number 23, a little tighter, a little narrower. That storm welt, I am just slightly obsessed with. I don't know why. It's just, you know, that 360 degree, you know, welt is okay. It's great and it's the best. But you throw that storm welt, that, just that double layer added protection. Mm. How can you beat that? That Puritan stitching, 100 year old machines, over 100 year old. All three stitches stitched at once as we go outside here to try them on as they meet the ground for the first time. Against these blue Levi's, natural lighting, and just Trying them on and loving how they feel. So these are seven and a half. So I was going to talk to you about the size. I am usually an eight in mock toes. These were sold on Walmart, believe it or not. And I am blown away by the fact that um, they had some, but they're seven and a half. So I don't think people believe they could fit in them. I fit in these perfect. These things fit honestly like a dream. I think the 45 last and the 1907s are made to be a little bit bigger because they're kind of more work shoes. If you read the description, it does say that they're made to 
create enough room in the footwear so that it, um, you can add footbeds. And that's exactly what it says online. So it says that it has room so you can add footbeds where the 23 last just says that it's an iconic style. And so I fit in these seven and a halves when I'm usually, I thought eights. I do have some 23 lasts that are size eights that do fit fine. Don't get me wrong, but these seven and a half, I, I took a gamble because they were sold on Walmart. I knew I could return them. And since that was the case, I figured I would take a shot, order them. It was either an oral russet portage leather or the mahogany leather, which I believe a little bit of research was just oral original leather, but in mahogany color. And I have those six inch round toe classic in oral russets, so I wanted to add to the collection because Spoiler alert, I have another pair of oral russets on the way that I will have a video for, but in this video, these Oxfords, you're seeing the first bends I've ever put in them. The first creases against now these green Levi's. Just to show you the first ever break-ins of these brand new Oxfords. They're even on sale, guys. If you're I don't know, I guess small narrow foot, narrow or foot like I am, maybe you could benefit from trying a seven and a half. I thought maybe my feet were shrinking, but that doesn't happen for another 35 years. But here we go. Just, I want to show you outside. I'm going to shut up so you can watch it.